hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so i was just sitting down here i was just looking at the news and uh, i just saw something in, i just saw something in the news it actually just like a one hour ago or something like that that um peter Mwachuku is no longer in the prison that uh, <laughs> that he's missing it's interesting for anyone that does not know, Peter Mwachuku is a, a man that is a, a what's it called now? Is a man that got arrested because a Nigerian man that the wife is a gospel singer. She was a lead singer in her church, and um, what's it called now? Apparently, the report was that the woman was not being the man was not being nice to his wife. I'm just trying to use uh, good words because YouTube Diawala is too much, so he was not very nice to her. He was. Uh, what was the called now that they said he used his foot on her chest if you know what i mean so he and then she was unwell she was in hospital and in the hospital they said they found blood clot in the chest or whatever or in the lungs you know and uh, the next thing her life ended it was after her life ended that a lot of her you know her family and friends came out speaking up about the marriage she's been in for the longest time uh, that the man was not nice to her the man was physical and everything so the man has been in custody pending pending the the court hearing and the outcome of the court so not too long ago there was a news that let me actually read it to you guys i just wanted to kind of explain the story before i read it so basically recently there was actually is a long story nigerian story sometimes you just don't feel like it's actually the end of the day i'm going to go for my shower in a few minutes but uh, I, I just, let me read it to you guys let me read it to you. so it says um it says kuje uh, jailbreak osinachi's uh, husband Mwachuku escapes from prison. This is this news is, you know, not too long ago this news came out. And it says it was confirmed on Sunday that the man truly escaped from prison custody. And um, Peter Mwachuku, husband of the late gospel singer Osinachi Mwachuku, has reportedly escaped from prison. Recall on June 3rd, a high a high court in Abuja remanded uh, Mwachuku at the Kuji Correctional Facility pending the hearing and determination of the uh, homicide um, homicide related suit against him by the attorney general of the federation but newsmen gathered that Mwachuku was one of the suspects who escaped the facility during the terrorist terrorist attack last week tuesday july 5th 2022 terrorists suspected to be boko haram members had on july 6th attacked the medium correctional center and killed at least two persons while over 800 emails were freed a source from Dunamis International Gospel Center, Osina Chi's former church, told reporters on Tuesday, July 12, uh, 2022, that he could not be found in the prison since the attack happened. According to him, the manhunt has been launched by the security operatives in search of the suspect. The day we heard of the prison break, we called the prison authorities to know the state of Mr. Uh, Nwachuku, but they, but they were initially not forthcoming with the true situation. But it was confirmed on Sunday that a man truly escaped from prison custody. Manhunt has been launched on him at the moment. Security agencies have been briefed. Uh, they are also monitoring his bank account to see if there would be any transaction. But anyways, when I saw the news, I was like, hmm, Nigeria. Nigeria, for anyone that does not know, actually, the Nigerian uh, police chief was, was actually locked up in the same place as well. There's actually a general belief that... Um, um, the whole prison break that you know there was this ter these terrorists went there and broke when I say broke walls and broke everything and the next thing they said that this uh, former police chief is uh, missing believe is that this guy is so high up there that them them in Nigeria we say them them like people top top there were ready to do whatever it took to get him out of prison you know and uh, there's a belief that he's looked after a lot of uh, corrupt politicians so there's no way they're going to let him rot there because he's important to a lot of them so the prison break is that that's the general belief is that the prison break that the people that broke into that prison went there specifically to go free him and in the process a lot of other people escaped as well that's what it looks like and a lot of names of people that have a you know um, that are missing and it's just when you hear it so how do you explain that People just come to a prison, broke the whole place, and all of... I don't understand it. Ordinary, let's not forget the ordinary answers that Nigerians came unarmed. See how the government dealt with them. Not to talk of, 
security uh, what's it called uh, what's it called now a prison that is supposed to be really well protected do you know what I mean well protected that is where when it was happening they could not call the military and call whatever to come and sort whatever was happening the, that prison thing they did that prison break they did it took a while do you know how long it would take them to break one wall break another wall do all of that yet our government they didn't seem to be able to do anything about that and now it's just me you know say me i don't talk my own they said the country will share the money on an agree as far as i'm concerned let them just sell it let them just sell the country let's let's share the money make we rest because some things you hear in it's only in nigeria you hear some some kind of things we hear from nigeria it's only in nigeria that you heard that a snake swallowed money or monkey took money and ran away let me not let me not talk too much. let me not talk too much just imagine that okay so people are saying oh see that jesus man is not guilty he's guilty but the normal way is that he's a suspect in the exit of his wife and they're supposed to go to court if he's not guilty then he can go if he's guilty he cannot go but in the normal in a civil when they say the civilized part of the world you expect justice to prevail that if he's innocent he will let go if he's not innocent he should face you know if he's not innocent he should face whatever comes to him but now the man is a I don't know where they're gonna find him. The man, there are a lot of places he can enter road now. He don't reach Kotonu. What are you talking about? Before, if by road by road, there are a lot of neighboring countries. Chad, a lot of neighboring countries you can just migrate to. Niger near us now. I don't know if they'll find him. I seriously don't know because this guy, from what I understand, if he's found guilty, his own life will be ended as well. So who's gonna if it's you, would you want to be found? <laughs> like this is his opportunity to Jackpa, Yoruba was a Jackpa as a hmm. Like completely run away, and so all the upright uh, scenes. Oh, Sinachi, want to go, Sinachi, want to go. So this is it now, Abi, because we don't know if we'll find it. We we'll wait and see. But uh, the justice people were looking for, they may not see it. Though. What about her mother? Her mother was dedicated. She turned up in court. She was ready to face him in court and everything. And now um, it's gone this way. I heard, honestly, when I read the news, I was like, ah, whatever. Like Nigerian news, no, they shock me anymore. I like I um, there's barely anything you hear about Nigerian news now that you're that surprised or that you'll be that shocked. You know, I'm saying people say you guys are not sharing good news. <laughs> I'm too tired to talk to be honest with you. You guys are not sharing good news. There was one person that let that comment. You're always sharing bad news. I said, please, if you see the news, send me. Let me share it because this is what we see in the news all the time. These are the kind of things we see in the news all the time, and we don't manufacture news. We're only sharing what is there. You know. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what else to say, guys. Whatever your opinions are, do you think they will find this man again? Or do you think some people use the opportunity to go and rescue him out of there? You know, he has sympathizers. Don't forget that. Uh -huh. Some people may be sympathizing with Osinachi. There are some people that sympathize with him. You know? And uh, so, what are your opinions? Do you think they will find this man again? Do you think this case will ever have head? You know, what do I translate that? You know, what, will you, do you think that this case will ever, you know, get anywhere? Would you think they'll find him? I don't know. Because I don't think Nigeria government should be looking for him. For we are many people in the authority position to do the right thing and never finish embezzling money. Is a one chuku they want to go and be looking. Is a one chuku they're going to be looking for. Me, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but I don't know. If they find him, that would be great. But I'm not very optimistic. But anyways, that's what that's how the story is. Uh, the guy has a um, has uh, disappeared according to the news. I actually read that from, I didn't say, I read that from Pulse News and they are reliable Nigerian news, you know, and they are one of the, you know, most reliable Ni Nigerian news outlets. Um, they've existed for like, before some of us were born. Do you know what I mean? So, and uh, they are reputable. So, anyways, that's the story. One Chuku is missing. If you want to when I have... <laughs> Is I don't know what your opinions are. Like I said, if you think they will find him, or do you think if you think they will find him, do you think they will find him, or do you think they will never find him? Do you think that some people went and helped him because there was already a prison break? It can be an opportunity to say, ah, he's one of those that were missing. Maybe he was not, but just use opportunity to because it's a great opportunity to say so so, -so person was missing during that prison break. So do you think some people are helping him, or do you whatever your opinions are? Uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. My camera is shaking a lot. Uh, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And um, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.